this new technology. And the goal is, is getting smaller nations into political alignment. And that's in a struggle for world military and economic dominance. So Saudi Arabia and Yemen are already awaiting delivery. Well, and all, all this, it presents a large nuclear weapons proliferation. Question. A large nuclear yeah. weapons proliferation risk. And it's, this new uranium enrichment process is the most dangerous of all the nuclear endeavors, since it will not only contaminate the Portsmouth site, but expand the scope of nuclear weapons, and with that, expand the possibility of nuclear war. So a second Department of Energy scheme for new nuclear at ports is a technology to make purified, depleted uranium for warfare. Now, currently, they already make depleted uranium for warfare. They use the waste uh, of the, that's why it's called depleted. Uh, they use the waste, and they make, they use it to, they send it off, and uh, they take the fluorine off of it, and then it's used to make shells and armor in tanks, tank walls, and it's used as weight in bunker buster bombs. But this new technology is something that will purify the depleted uranium and take out the plutonium and the, all those little transuranics that just happen to be in there. We don't mind if they're scattered around Iraq or whatever, where the, where the cancer rate has vastly increased since it's been used. But, um, but we need it to be purified in order to make these new thermonuclear weapons that can be dialed up or down. And they use the depleted uranium as a sort of a, a buffer. And so they can make a, a nuclear weapon have a larger or smaller uh, explosive force. And I guess this is very exciting. And anyway, big money flows to this project, whether it works or not, which, which, I'm, which I think it does work, which is scary, even more scary. And then a third Department of Energy scheme down at Portsmouth is an agreement to have Oklo build two new nuclear reactors there. And these are being hyped, you know, small, and they're they're advanced. But they're kind of a lot of them are the same old, and they're uh, but energy from smaller reactors that's going to be more expensive because they don't have the advantage of scale. That's why these are so big now because they have an advantage of, of scale, and um, and nuclear costs. Well, nuclear costs are already going up. Operating reactors are three costs three to ten times more than wind, solar, and other renewables. That's already three to ten times more. Who wants that? Well, I guess the weapons people do. But uh, new nuclear reactors, small, modular, advanced, don't exist now. They won't exist for a decade or more. And uh, if ever, factories that would make modular reactors don't exist. New scale, that was the first uh, small reactor to be licensed. That's been canceled. And public money, this lost over a billion dollars in public money invested into that. So in conclusion, you'll be glad to know. <laughs> uh, energy efficiency, wind, solar, and are cheap, safe, quicker, popular, and proven. No guards are needed. Uh, and with growing the climate in and political instability, Nuclear power is becoming even more dangerous. And uh, renewables now, did you know this? They generate more power than nuclear reactors. Yeah. So our energy future is renewable, not radioactive. And to find out more, uh, we visit onfn.org. And you can sign up uh, over there on our, um, on, uh, there's the sign up sheet on the table, uh, the only requirement. Uh, is that you are opposed to nuclear power and nuclear weapons. So uh, look, visit us at onfn.org. <laughs> and are you ready for our next speaker? <laughs>